Joining me now from the Gateway Pundit, Lucian Wintrich. Lucian, uh, our president, he's brutally honest. We've never seen anything like this before. We're used to politicians that lie and sugarcoat things. He's not a politician. So, you know, his supporters, they, they love the candor. But then the Trump hate media and the resist people, they, they resent it. But the question is, you know, is this a distraction from his agenda? This this press conference was supposed to be about his infrastructure plan. And now it's all about how he responded to these reporters. Now, of course, he has to hit them back because there's a lot of misinformation out there. Oh, I mean, absolutely. I think uh, what we saw recently was the was the Trump that we wanted uh, that we helped put into office. This is the man that we've been waiting for. He finally did tackle the the violence that we've seen from the left. The media, you know, when Steve Scalise was shot, when uh, that member of the alt, uh, we'll call them the alt left. I love that term now. When that member of the alt left uh, opened fired on uh, Republican congressmen. Where was the media? Why, why weren't they saying this is due to the dangerous narrative stemming from the left? Um, when, when police officers were shot in Texas, when police officers were shot in New York and Black Lives Matter was uh, screaming, what is it, pigs in a blanket, uh, fry them like bacon. Where was the left condemning those actions? So finally we have a president who is acknowledging that a lot of this hate is coming from both sides and it is resulting in actual real world violence. Listen, you have to ask, what more do they want from the president? He came out, he condemned both sides. There was the alt left and the alt right and they were both there for a reason uh, and that was to protest the, the Robert E. Lee statue and the ones were the counter protesters and they all, a lot of them came with bats and tear gas. They wanted to, they wanted to fight. And and so for Trump just to scold one side would be inappropriate. And then now we have all these weak knee Republicans that are saying, oh, well, he didn't he didn't go far enough. And then, you know, the media is just all over it. But like you pointed out, where were they when Antifa was crashing UC Berkeley? Where were they when the Obama administration was scrubbing Islam out of the 911 records from the Pulse nightclub shooting? Because he didn't want to define the enemy. And that's the argument of the left is that Trump doesn't want to define the enemy when he actually did define the enemy several times over. I mean, I, I would absolutely, I'd go so as, uh, as far as to say that the left has gotten this free pass for excessive violence and uh, dangerous rhetoric for a while. Now, with the alt-right, uh, the people who were assembling there for their, what is it, Unite the, uh, the Right rally, which, by the way, I will say none of these people uh, are, are conservative by any means. They, these uh, alt-right people, they believe in a large central government uh, to create an ethno-state, or at least half of them do. The other half were there uh, just to protest the removal of that statue. So uh, Antifa shows up, though, with uh, what? Complete with pepper spray, bats, shields, looking to incite, incite actual violence. Um, and they didn't have permits. The right, uh, the so-called alt-right, had a permit. They were going to deliver their sort of <laughs> topsy-turvy speeches about uh, identitarian politics speeches and then leave. That's all they intended to do. And in a country like America, where we do have the First Amendment, they had every right to go, uh, go in there, deliver their speeches and leave. And Lucia, what do you make of all these weaselly CEOs dropping out of the business council? Somebody dropped out that Trump ended up just canceling it because he didn't want to put pressure on the last few that were there. I mean, they already didn't like the president. And so the president's hitting back saying that they're upset because he was scolding them because they do most of their business out of the country. Oh, yeah. I mean, uh, what? We had the, the Mercer guy, uh, pharmaceutical fellow dropout. Um, if you look at the, the racket they're running with drug prices, with, which Trump called him out on, uh, these, are, these are no people. The Walmart CEO, he thought that the American people were waiting for the, uh, the head of Walmart to, to weigh in morally. Um, these, are, these aren't moral people. I don't understand how they're, they're so deluded to think that the American people really value their, <laughs> their opinions and, and whatever high ground they feel like they need to stand on. And again, where were they to condemn, you know, the Obama administration during all the times of turmoil and violence? And and if anyone wants to blame anyone, it was 
President Obama, who started this race war in the country, he's the one who started the war against police. And so, you know, nobody was going after the president after the Dallas massacre of police officers when he's the one that would come out and accuse police <coughs> officers of being racist when it wasn't true. Are you okay over there, Lucian? I'll just keep talking. And uh, when you're when you're ready to talk, I wanted to talk about the what's going on with the Confederate monuments. There's some 700 across the country, and the Gateway Pundit, you posted video of these Antifa thugs or Black Lives Matter thugs or just leftist thugs knocking down a statue. That's not their property. That's what the Islamic State does. They knock down <coughs> historical figures, items, whatever you can imagine. And so there's this effort to just get rid of the rest of them. And I, I want to hear what your thoughts are on it. Okay, well, sorry, let me just take one quick sip here. Go I ahead. Stay hydrated. Um, I'll tell you, the, the pollen in the air in Washington, D.C. is, is uh, unparalleled. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I mean, absolutely, listen, uh, Robert E. Lee was not a racist, by the way. Um, this was a man that many of us, I actually, I studied him when I was taking military strategy courses back at Bard College, a liberal college. Um, we studied Robert E. Lee because he was a brilliant military mind. And it's important, it's very important to learn from these historical military figures. The other monument that was just public uh, property monument that was toppled by uh, Black, BML, or what is it, Black Lives Matter folk, uh, Antifa folk. That was, that was essentially a, um, it, it was what, a memorial. A memorial to the soldiers who died fighting for the Confederacy. It was essentially a, a, a public tombstone honoring those who died. Um, for them to take that down, I think, obviously, without any sort of permit, anything else, is so disgusting. And then, like, children, they, they were kicking this, uh, this, metal, this metal statue once it was already on the ground, because that's how we're going to defeat racism together. I mean, there, I, I feel like the left uh, loses it more and more every week. And I mean, I, I'll say that I, uh, even here in D.C., we have a ton of very ugly sculptures that the taxpayer has paid for. I'm not assembling people and pulling them down with ropes and kicking them. This is weird, childish, uh, completely counterproductive behavior. Well, and what I found disturbing is that the police or the sheriff's deputies that were there, they just sat back, they watched, they didn't do anything. They just let these people destroy the statues and then they videoed it. Uh, thankfully, today they arrested one of the, you know, one of the girls who was part of it. Uh, but, you know, that sends a message that that's OK. And I think, you know, with all these upcoming protests and everyone's eyes on these the rest of the statues that have been up for 100 years plus, you know, I think that they really need to take control of the situation. Lucian, thank you so much for your insight. And I hope you uh, get rid of that cough for next time. Coming up next on Tipping Point, the emergency spending bill for a VA program. Is it enough? More on that in just a minute.